Now the defense is continuing its case in the Joe Carroyo trial, but there was a bombshell development before testimony even began. Local 10's Ian Margle was in the courtroom and is live in Fort Lauderdale with it all for us. Ian. And we'll tell you all about that bombshell in just a minute. But first, we have to tell you that today's testimony was really centered around two high-ranking city officials, and it was actually the last day of testimony until after Memorial Day. Senior Assistant Attorney for Miami, Rachel Dooley, back on the stand Wednesday, continuing her testimony in Commissioner Joe Carroyo's federal civil trial. Dooley told jurors she became familiar with Bill Fuller and Martin Pena, the two Miami business owners who filed the lawsuit against Carroyo because they were cited frequently for code violations. Arroyo's defense team has been trying to show that Fuller and Pania have no respect for city permitting rules. But Fuller and Pania's attorneys say the repeated violations and constant code enforcement inspections are evidence of the commissioner using city resources to target their businesses. After Dooley, city manager Art Noriega took the stand, testifying that Carroyo, to his knowledge, has never ordered his staff to do anything. And now to those fireworks that happened even before testimony actually started. This morning, the judge laid into all of Joe Carroyo's defense attorneys. Apparently, they submitted a sealed document, and inside of that document, there was a picture. The picture was from inside the courtroom showing one of the plaintiff's attorneys talking to a member of the media. The problem is there are no pictures or videos allowed in a federal courthouse. It is a huge no-no. In fact, it is punishable by 30 days in jail and a hefty fine. The judge eventually recommended for all of the attorneys for Joe Carroyo that they be not allowed to work in the Southern District of Florida for two years. If they agree to that, that is it. If they don't agree to it, they have 30 days to come to a different decision that the judge approves. And if they cannot do that, he says it, within 90 days, he's going to be setting a hearing to see if they are going to be held in contempt. And if they are held in contempt, all of those attorneys could be facing prison time. Live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Ian Margo, Local 10 News. Wow.